Experience a behind-the-scenes peek at the future of USANA's research and development with Chief Scientific Officer, Dr. Rob Sinnott. Oh, hello. Hey, look, team. We have some company here today for this special Future Lab round. Robin. Hi. Hello, everyone. Hey, everybody. So you've been invited into this springboard conversation about the direction of our science. This amazing team and I regularly discuss how to solve today's problems tomorrow with progressive and focused research and development. We're passionate about taking today's challenges and seizing the opportunity to create products to solve those problems. Looking at health trends and how we can adapt to them helps us determine our research and product direction. And we're headed in several innovative directions. We want you to know that we have ideas queued up for the next five years, as well as even further into the future. And today we're gonna to share some of those health solutions that are close to market, as well as some ideas that are a little bit further down the road. But please keep in mind that what we're about to tell you could change. Nothing we say here is guaranteed. So with that, I thought you might find value in hearing about the possible health solutions on the horizon from the team members leading the charge. I'll introduce the team members as we go. This is Dr. Rachel Brewer. She's the Director of New Product Research. Rachel, why don't you start us off? Thanks. As Amy Heron talked about in the opening session, we listen to our consumers and do our best to solve the problems that you bring forward. One concern we hear frequently addresses versioning. We've had a lot of consumers reach out expressing things like, like that my grandmother is elderly and, and can't swallow pills and vit vitamins in pill form. What can you do to create a product that she can take? It's a great question and one that we've been working on. We're looking into different methods that can help to reach these people that we've always wanted to but just haven't had a solution for. That's right, Dr. Brewer, so far. But that is changing. This is Howard Gurney, Vice President of Product Development Research, and he continues to be instrumental in figuring out how to deliver these vital nutrients. And I'm not talking about shipping methods. <laughs> no. The delivery methods we're helping to transform is the variety of ways that nutrients can be consumed. We're exploring the efficacy of gummies, of topical applications, chewables, and liquids that could give you an option on how you take nutrients into your body. This process includes the development of unique laboratory testing methods, flavor profiling, user trials, and of course, stability testing. These new delivery forms add variety and creativity for your health journey. Plus, they are easy to explain and easy to consume. You will see big strides in this realm very soon. There has been a huge demand for gummy supplements, but gummies can be tricky to get right. We have to make sure they meet USANA's standards for science and quality. We are excited to let you know that we are planning to launch an immune support gummy by the end of the year if all goes as planned. This is big news. That is big news. Now, it's likely this gummy will be made available in just one trial market to start, and there is much more information coming. I also need to give a huge shout-out to so many members of this team who have been involved in this special delivery. This is just the beginning of our vitamin versioning. There is so much more to come. This could be a real game changer, Howard. I, for one, am really excited to have a gummy product on the horizon. 
We also just launched Active Nutrition in June, a product line so many members of this team helped bring to market. But that launch was just another step in our continual commitment to holistic health. Shelly Baxter is the Executive Director of Global Nutrition Programs. She's on the front lines of creating nutrition solutions. So Shelly, what are you hearing? You know, we get asked every week, can we give this product or that to our children? Parents are really looking for healthy snack and nutrition solutions for the whole family. Isan is jumping in to fill that gap where people are demanding better quality snacks and food. We're developing healthy and convenient alternative to that terrible bag of chips that people usually grab for. Chips can really make a nutritionist cringe. <laughs> That's why it's so exciting to see some of the products we are developing that are actually formulated for children. Katie Burton is a senior manager of product development. Katie, will you share how you're shaking things up for kids? Yeah, you bet I will. We talked earlier about market trends and looking at what's currently in the market so we can create benchmarks to improve upon them. We also look at the voids in the market, kind of those missing pieces. An example could be to create a protein shake for kids that provides more nutrition, a cleaner sugar source, lower sugar, and more protein. Things like that that will be more important to parents. Keeping those things in mind, we are developing two new children's products. The first is a children's smoothie, which is a modified version of the new Nutrimil Active Mineral Replacement Shake with the serving size and nutrient level specific for kids. With 9 grams of protein and 3 grams of fiber per serving, it's a good source of fiber and protein for kids. We are also fortifying it with omega-3 and 6 and iron to support brain health. My colleague and food scientist Jason Braithwaite is also setting the bar pretty high on kids' nutrition. That's right. The second kid's product we're developing is a chocolate-covered fudge brownie bar. Wow. Doesn't that sound delicious? <laughs> we believe kids will think so, too. This bar is actually going into formulation and will have 8 grams of protein, which is an excellent source of protein for kids, and it will also be formulated as a good source of fiber. For kids who have trouble eating or who are picky eaters, this smaller serving size protein bar that looks like a candy bar will be a good, healthy food option. We are currently conducting a user trial for this new bar and kids smoothie, which is going really well. And I'll share some additional news. We're thinking of calling the kids smoothie the Nutrimil Junior Smoothie. I'd also like to mention that the new food manufacturing facility on the USANA campus has allowed us to innovate and turn around new products faster, which is really fun for the foods team. And it's certainly keeping us busy. We have approximately 20 new food products in various stages of development right now. It's also important to point out that although we are not abandoning general benefits of our food products, we are turning to some specific body benefit focuses regarding food development. And as we discuss the R&D roadmap and the products that are emerging from it, I think about how can we use them in programs and develop resources for them. For example, Right now, I am collaborating with USANA brand partner, Megan Rossi, the gut health doctor, on a nutrition guide for children. This will be released the same time we release the children's food products that we just talked about. Another area we are exploring is seeing which of our products can be used by people with different dietary needs, such as a low FODMAP diet. FODMAP stands for fermentable oligosaccharides, disaccharides, monosaccharides, and polyols. Wow, that's sure a fun mouthful, isn't it? <laughs> it certainly is. That's why we stick with FODMAP, which are a group of carbohydrates, including some very beneficial prebiotics that are resistant to digestion. So they are passed to the large intestine where our gut microbiome happily eats them. This microbiome food frenzy is called fermentation. 
This can cause unpleasant GI experiences in individuals with digestive sensitivity. These people can find healthy support for their gut by following a low FODMAP diet. I'm pleased to announce that our Nutrimeal Free, our detox tea, and plain digestive health protein drink are low FODMAP. We're really excited about the work we're doing with foods. We're, we're confident there's a big future for us there. Another area we're thrilled to be seeing such interest in demand is in our skincare. In fact, just a few weeks ago, our Cell Aviv line won a Best in State award in the personal care and cosmetics category. Here you see our very own Director of Product Development, Kei Jun Ko, accepting that award. She and her team are really just scratching the surface with how much further we can go with Cell Aviv. Congratulations, KJ. Thank you, Dr. Sinap. So I have a two potential product that I like to talk about. As with any product line launch, it is important to do gap analysis to discover which products are doing well, which products are not, and what kind of products are missing altogether. This market Research led us to explore an idea for a new product in our CeraVib lineup. One to match expectations to today's product users. We are working on the extra strength version of CeraVib makeup remover. It would be a cleansing balm for stubble makeup. And the balm is also really really good and help support dry and sensitive skin. Wow. I know a lot of people that were really excited about that one, KJ, and so please keep us posted. Also, in the opening session, you heard Donald Cherry talk about our sustainability pillars of people, product, and planet. The second project we're working on here in the Future Lab is an example of that. About two years ago, the state of Hawaii started paying more attention to certain ingredients in sunscreens that can have a detrimental effect on the ocean environment, especially uh, breaching coral, uh, which is one of the reasons why we have started to develop a mineral sunscreen instead of chemical-based sunscreen. It is made of just zinc oxide, micronized zinc oxide, that is aimed at covering both UVA and UVB rays. This year, we are starting a pilot test to validate the product. And it could be ready to launch early next year if all goes well with the pilot test. Probably the biggest Celebi news is that we are bringing all manufacturing in-house to USANA, which will help us better control our high quality standards. In fact, Dr. Sinnott, we will have three more Celebi products being manufactured in-house by the end of October. By bringing Celebi in-house, we will be better able to test new formulations and products more efficiently while producing our current products with that USANA GMP good manufacturing stamp of approval. Down the road, we are working to create our own liposome in the laboratory with Celaviv cell signaling complex and Olivo Botanical brand for extreme hydration. And the possibilities to incorporate that technology into our current Celaviv products are plentiful. Kei Jun and her team are also exploring ideas to add Asian Eastern materials into the cell signaling complex to help fortify it more. Which is something else that I really love about this team, our collaboration. We all have our specialties and fields of interest, but we're not selfish with our research and breakthrough. We share these discoveries to increase the success of all of the other teams and the success of USANA as a whole. 
which is vital when you have more than 80 USANA scientists working around the world. As you know, my field of interest is the microbiome. Kejun is just as passionate about it as me. So together, we're working on developing postbiotic skincare. This is a big deal and one that we are excited to share. As a refresher for everyone, postbiotics are not live bacteria like probiotics. They are cellular components or metabolites of bacteria, and they're filled with good stuff like vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and polypeptides. And on their own, they've been shown to have beneficial impacts on the health and on the microbiome. Which is great for skin. So this postbiotic skincare line is more focused on skincare type and specific beauty concerns with the skin, rather than just a more useful appearance. We are eliminating all fragrances to reduce possible reactions and then uh, limit the number of raw materials we use to keep the product is very gentle. We are really pushing back the frontiers in microbiome research. We're fortunate to have our own resident experts in this field, Dr. Rachel Brewer and Chuck Walton, lead development scientists. Your microbiome is always growing fast, almost as fast and far as what we're learning about it. Our short-term goal is to start specializing more on probiotics. That's where the research is being done. We've got great probiotic products out there, but since we know that every part of the body has a different microbiome, we want to focus on those and then focus on individual people because just as much research is being done on the microbiomes of unique individuals. This leads us to pinpointed focuses on women and infants, different ages, different people, different lifestyles. So the long-term goal is to make sure that we have a probiotic that works to meet the needs of any person out there. That's right, Rachel. Right now, we have two main products that we are working on. One is a women's health probiotic. It's in the early stages of development, but we have some great for formulation ideas. We are looking at a formula containing multiple strains with strong scientific evidence that have presented a great opportunity for us. It will also have additional ingredients like cranberry powder, shown to have benefits for urinary tract health. The target is to support women overall, women's health and the vaginal health of the microbiome community. We're looking at specific research to support a healthy vaginal microbiome and optimize women's unique health concerns. I'm actually working with Dr. Medella to assist in this research. We are in the process of designing and implementing a huge clinical trial that will enroll more than 100 women. We are very excited about this project and can't wait to see the results. The other product we are working on is an infant probiotic. It also is a blend of multiple well-studied strains. We're exploring a couple different delivery formats, as well as including additional ingredients known to support infant health to really set us apart from others in this space. We have so much coming up in the world of the microbiome that we plan to celebrate it with an entire year dedicated to the microbiome, full of product launches and educational resources. USANA is specializing in spe several areas. On one end of the spectrum, we are pushing science boundaries in this ultra-modern, constantly evolving microbiome. On the opposite end of the spectrum, we're unlocking boundless possibilities with ancient traditions. We are incorporating modern Western science with science developed and practiced from, for thousands of years. Combining indigenous methodologies such as Ayurvedic and traditional Chinese medicine with the high quality control of USANA is opening up a whole new area. Dr. Jeremy Tian, Director of New Product Research, is making incredible strides in bringing East and West together for USANA. Jeremy, will you share with us some of the things you're working on? Okay. Can I have three hours to talk about it? Uh, no, Jeremy, you've got three minutes. <laughs> Okay, I'll try. <laughs> Instead of figuring out simple commonalities between these two tracks of thought, our work thus far is putting them together organically.
technically by choosing ingredients that have double functions. We are approaching this work with a double punch strategy. These ingredients that we carefully choose have double functions, meaning they work on the cell signaling target on one side and have TCM function on the other side. The double punch strategy could be used in a series of hybrid products down the road. We have this whole treasure box of possibilities. For instance, our patented cell essentials could be adapted to render the functionality of cell protection and renewal on one hand, and on the other hand, provide TCM benefits such as supplementing qi, a vital force of life that surges through the body. In essence, our aim is to give our consumers health support that could be viewed from the lens of different medicines. It's a huge undertaking because although TCM is a highly sophisticated tradition that has been practiced for thousands of years, it is rarely tested by clinical trial. For us, as a science-based company, we rely on experimental data to substantiate our products. Which I want to come back to in just a moment, so hold that thought, Dr. Mendez. But first, I want to congratulate Dr. Tian, who is not only one of our most esteemed scientific experts, but he's now an author. In case you have not heard the big news, Dr. Tian and I co-wrote a book with Dr. Mehmet Oz and the head of Beijing University of Chinese Medicine, Dr. Anlong Zhu. It's called Yin Yang Yu, Biohacking with Asian Codes a user's guide to traditional Chinese medicine, and it is coming out next month. It has been a labor-intensive but rewarding endeavor. I'm very excited for the book's release. Also very exciting is USANA's new partnership with Beijing University of Chinese Medicine. As one of the top TCM schools in China, we will be able to collaborate with thousands of professors and the clinicians. It will be a great scientific resource for us as we continue down our path of incorporating traditional Chinese medicine in our research and product development. And as Dr. Tian is bridging the gap between TCM and Western science, Dr. Rolando Medella, Executive Director of Global Health and Education and Nutrition Research, is exploring another area of ancient wisdom, Ayurvedic. It's just one of the many avenues of research we're working on. Ayurvedic supplementation is one of the world's oldest health systems and remains one of India's traditional healthcare systems. It is based on ancient writings that rely on a natural and holistic approach to physical and mental health. Ayurvedic treatment combines products, mainly derived from plants, diet, exercise, and lifestyle. We're just starting to really look into how to integrate Ayurvedic traditions into our research and development here at Yasana. Circling back to a comment you made a moment ago, Dr. Medell, about how we rely on experimental data to substantiate our products. We're not required to do our own clinical trials, but it's a big deal that we do. Yes, indeed. Consumers appreciate it, government regulatory bodies expect it, and to build long-term sustainable advantage, science-based companies must have it. 
And as we just mentioned, we collaborate with prestigious academic and research institutions like the Beijing University of Chinese Medicine all over the world. Dr. Medella, I think our special guests would love to hear about the current clinical trials that you and Dr. Mark Levy, Director of Product Validation, have on the table right now. Yes, we have four clinical trials about ready to start and one that is ongoing. So five we're working on. 2019 was really our golden age of clinical trials. We had 10. But with more pressing things going on last year, many of our trials were delayed or stopped. So it's really wonderful that we're gearing up again. Dr. Medella was involved in a really encouraging clinical trial with Copaprime Plus a couple of years ago. The acute study for Copaprime Plus that was completed in 2019 showed supportive working memory performance during effortful cognitive task performance in the COPA prime group compared to the placebo, which give us solid research to support our claims that COPA prime plus is amazing new product to support cognitive health. And we just started a new long-term study on COPA prime plus. Roll that beautiful clinical trial footage. Our acute study showed COPA Prime Plus has some effect on maintaining cognitive health. So what we want to do now is see if we can extend that and determine if it works in a specialized population, athletes. We want to find out if COPA Prime Plus can enhance cognitive health as it relates to sports performance. We have teamed up with members of the U.S. Ski and Snowboard Team and the USANA Center of Excellence to conduct this new clinical trial. We are hoping to enroll 40 athletes in this study to see if COPA Prime Plus can in some way optimize reaction time. And you can imagine how important reaction time is in sports, right? Extremely important. We are also currently involved in a large clinical trial to validate our active nutrition line. And some exciting news with our oral probiotic, we've been involved with a clinical study. And it's just approved a few weeks ago. Congratulations, Rachel. Thank you very much. As you may or may not know, the oral probiotic and ADP1 toothpaste was our first specialized microbiome product venture, and I'm really proud of that. Recently, we had Cell Essentials, ProGlucommune, and other product studies published in peer-reviewed scientific journals. And last year, we completed studies on the Cellavib regimen and on the new skin brightening series with incredible results. Way to go, Kajun. I appreciate it. Thank you, Dr. Madera. So um, it's a big, big team uh, effort. It's not only individual. So I really appreciate it. Thank you. And Dr. Senot, you have some big news of your own to share. I do. I was invited to speak at a United Nations conference on medical equality. This is such an honor for me to have this opportunity to speak about on the world stage about a topic that I'm deeply passionate about. As we have seen, especially as of late, there's a huge disparity between the haves and the have nots when it comes to health solutions. I believe this is an area where USANA can make a big impact. We've always been global focused with the vision to create the healthiest family on earth, no matter your age, sex, race, or lifestyle. Health should not discriminate. And I'm really proud of the work we're doing on this front. Excuse me. Might I add how proud I am as well? Wow, Dr. Myron Wentz, the founder and chairman. and Emeritus of USANA. What a pleasant surprise. Maybe you can give us some final thoughts. I wanted to stop by and tell you in person how pleased I am with the work this team is doing. It speaks volumes about the quality, passion, and dedication of the people that we have in our USANA family. 
Next year, we celebrate 30 years of scientific and business excellence. I look back with such gratitude and look forward with such optimism in our future. As you have witnessed here today, our products continue to evolve as science evolves. I am confident in the leadership of our Chief Scientific Officer, Dr. Rob Sinnott, as he guides our outstanding global group of world-class scientists and product innovators. And I'm confident in each of you as you share my vision to create the healthiest family on earth. Thank you, Dr. Wentz, for your extraordinary leadership over the years and for innovating such an unshakable foundation for all of us to build upon. It has been the honor and adventure of my life. Now, back to work, everyone. We have much more to discover. Okay, team, you heard the boss. It's time to get back to work with our feet firmly planted, but our sights set on the future. Thanks to this amazing team for joining me and sharing just a fraction of the work that they're doing back in the laboratory. Coming up next, we take a deep dive into the body benefits of USANA product innovations. See you back here in the very near future. This concludes your USANA Live All Access session. Thanks for watching. 